Hey guys, Dr. Eric Smith, and today I want to talk to you about something that I get a lot of questions about, and that is what pillow should I buy, how should I sleep, and what's going to be the best thing to kind of fix this neck pain, as well as a lot of the other issues you may have. So things that might be like headaches, migraines, jaw pain, a lot of things come from not having the correct cervical curve in your spine, so you should have a curve that goes forward, and a lot of people get stuff forward. So today, I want to talk to you about Creative Comforts Pillow really like this pillow it's adjustable and that's a big thing that i find that a lot of times people will buy pillows and it's not the right size for them it's not the right support so a couple of things when you see in this pillow here is that it actually opens up and then there's adjustable pieces in here so if you're a petite sleeper if you're one of those small people you actually want to take these out and so then it folds back into that so on the, I'll show you and demonstrate on the so, uh, on my back here and how you're actually gonna do it, but these are gonna create two curves um, for support. So for a medium uh, person, somebody needs like some support, but not a ton, you're gonna put these back in here like so, and with the support, and that's gonna give you both sides of support. So you're gonna lay on this on your back, and I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Uh, obviously you're going to put this in some type of pillowcase to hold it all steady, but it's very, very comfortable and breathable. So for those of you that are heavier, more muscular people, and you need more support, if you have a heavier neck, those of you that want to say you're smarter with like bigger head and such, or maybe that they, they, all in all, you just do have a bigger head. You're going to want more support in the, uh, to go into certain areas that you're using the curvature. So as you've seen, there are a lot of different pillows on the market. Some are water-based, some are just not supportive. Some are say for side sleepers, some say for back, some say for a lot of different things. But the biggest thing we're looking for chiropractically is I do want you sleeping on your back. So let me demonstrate what that is with just currently how I have this set up, which would be for the majority of people. I myself use the more supportive ones just because I do have more of a flexible neck and I do want to support that a little bit more. But for the majority of people, you can use that. But the nice thing is, is you will figure this out without having to buy multiple pillows. So in terms of setting that up, obviously we want to lay on our back. So I'm going to just demonstrate that here for you. Laying on your back, now how this is going to be supportive is you want this piece underneath your neck. And how this pillow works very well is that it's going to allow your head to sit back into the cradle as it should with giving you some comfort where wherever you are on the pillow. So this here is gonna slightly induce the natural cervical curve in my spine. It's gonna release a lot of pressure up here and start to induce and fix a lot of that forward head posture we're having from um, computer use, cell phone use, things like that. So in terms of how much support you need, you can also flip the pillow around to get more of a curve if you need to. So. If you are looking for a good pillow, constantly have problems, not getting comfortable, and not being able to sleep on your back, this is gonna slowly induce that natural cervical curve that you have, as well as get you from um, first from sleeping on your stomach, which is the worst, and then progressively there are a lot of side sleepers to which you can sleep on your side with this. So the nice thing is, is if you do, it's gonna have that nice support to keep my head neutral. Because a lot of times what'll happen is you'll have a pillow that's gonna push you forward like this, so you're sleeping more like that. It's gonna create a lot of problems of jamming up here, overstretching this. This is comfortably allowing me to sleep on my side while I'm progressively working to that point where I can sleep on my back, which would then be this position. So while you're working through this and you're looking for a solution, I highly suggest you uh, try out this pillow. There'll be a link at the bottom. And if you have any questions, of course, DM me. I'd love to help you out.